In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a membership site menu. Okay, so what is a membership site menu? Well, a membership site menu is just like what is shown here. Okay, this is a membership site menu. Okay, and you create this using WordPress built-in menu function. Okay, so you log into your WordPress admin area and you click under appearance, click this to toggle down and click menus. Now you you want to pay attention to a few things, okay? There are actually two things you need to pay attention. You need to pay attention to the member menu and the non-member menu. Okay. So again, menu is what is shown here. For now you don't have to worry about the top navigation one, top navigation two, and footer menu because these are explained in a separate videos that is related to the block uh, customization and also the footer customization. And the landing page customization okay so this has nothing to do with membership sites what you want to pay attention to is just the member menu and the non-member menu okay so first off how do you create a menu well you create a menu by going to the clicking the plus tab here okay enter the menu name I'm just going to name it membership test menu okay click after you have chosen the menu name click create menu okay now this is the membership test menu that we have just created what do we want to put inside the menu right I'm going to just to toggle off this one so that it my desktop doesn't look cluttered okay now I can choose use custom links to be put inside them uh, inside this menu or I can choose pages or categories. Let us use pages first. For example, if I want to put the test page uh, inside the membership test menu, I just click test, add to menu. Okay. Now under categories, toggle this. I choose this uncategorized category, add to menu. Right. So you have on in the inside this membership test menu you have the test page and you have the uncategorized category. Okay. Now I want to add a custom link. Let's try my blog, welly-mulia.com. Label I want to label it Welly's blog. Okay, add to menu. Okay. You can type whatever you want here. I'm just using my, my own blog for as an example here. And then you can drag and drop and rearrange uh, however you want the uh, menu link to appear. Okay, so for example, if I if I'm done with this, I just click Save Menu. Okay, it says that the membership test menu has been updated. Now I want to open the team locations, and then for the member menu. And the non-member menu. Okay, member menu is the menu that that members see when they are logged in. Okay, when they are logged in, they will see this menu. Okay, so when members are logged in, what menu do you want to show them? I want to show them the membership test menu. Okay, membership test menu. So okay, well, let's just click save. Okay, once you are done. Let's refresh this page to see what it looks like now. There you go. Whatever I have entered here is showing up here because I have specified the member menu to show up the menu that I've just created, which is the membership test menu, right? I'm already logged in. So I'm a member and I will see this. Okay, if I rearrange the test here and I click save menu, Test is going to be changed to the uh, most left link okay, in the header in the menu. See, right? Position is changed because I just changed it over here. Now, just to show you, you can create a second level of menu, which I'm going to show you here now. So, let's say that I want to create a custom link and I want to create a custom link to, let's say, google.com and I just label this Google. I add menu add to menu 
Okay, now it's adding to my membership test menu. Now watch what happens. I can drag this and put to the right of Wellis block, which means that this is the second level of links under Wellis block. Okay, I'm going to save, click save menu just to show you what it means. Okay, I click refresh. And when I hover my mouse over Wellis block, Google is showing up here. Okay, it's showing up here because I have specified Google to be a sublink of Wellis block. Okay, that, that makes sense. <coughs> excuse me, I am having a little bit of uh, cough, so please excuse that. So second level Google, I can also add some more if I want to. For example, let's say yahoo.com or maybe if you want to add an, another page, you can do so. Let's say about, click add to menu and I can move this under test, make it the second level of the test menu or the uncategorized or under Wellis block or even to the right of under Google's link. So this is three levels. If I click save menu, and I hit refresh, if I hover my mouse over Wellis block, and I hover my mouse over Google, there you go, showing up the third level, which is the about. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Now let's talk about the non-member menu. Non-member menu is actually the same thing, except that uh, it's what do you want to show when a member is not logged in. I'm already logged in, so I, I'm so I'm seeing this menu here, right? Because I've specified that if a member is logged in, member menu show this membership test menu, right? If I don't want, if I'm logged out, what do I, what do I want to show people? If people are not logged in inside the members area, okay? People are not logged in. What do you want to show them? You just create another menu, which, which I've already explained to you earlier in this video. You just create another menu for the non-member menu and just choose the menu that you have created. For example, let's say that this is a non-member menu. You just click non-member, click hit save, and you are done.